What is up everyone? Jeff here, No Cutscenes, back with another Fallout 4 video. And today we are going to be settlement building and I've built a little, I guess you could call a player home, factory, foreman's office here for y'all, which I'm going to show you how to build. And it's at the Eden Meadows Cinema in Far Harbor. This is a mod that enables you like the conquest to build here but it's actually just a separate mod um, it's not conquest itself and I found it to be a little bit more reliable than the conquest one but with that out of the way I have built this awesome little ammunition manufacturing plant here with the single player home and then of course some more beds for settlers inside the actual cinema but with all the mods that I've been using it actually looks like something that could be in the wasteland like legitimately with all the clutter all the extra stuff just everything that's added, I think it makes it look great. You know, we got a little sitting area, which you can look, watch the movies, because the, the mod actually adds in, like, these screens with a radio station that plays the actual movies. It's fucking awesome. And I've made it not extremely protected as far as, like, massive walls, but enough where you'll be safe if you come in here, because I wanted to make it as a, um, like, a refuge, but also... If you come in here and try to steal my ammunition, you're going to get fucked. Yeah. It's protected by the gunners because I just felt that was, you know, they are the most menacing, so I had to put their sign up here. But really, we're just going to be building with mods in this series, and it's not going to be the craziest one that I have yet. It's not going to be like my log cabin or my full-on institute build uh, player home that I'm going to be doing. But I'm going to be showing you guys just how to build really, really lore-friendly, good-looking, uh, cluttered junk settlement type single style whatevers yeah and as you can see like it looks really good with everything that's just been added in and um yeah got a nice little ammunition plant and basically that building i've built is just an overseer uh foreman's office where you're able to look out check on your products now you'll see here these shack bridges i actually have a mod for these which allows you to uh snap them and it gives you a little bit more options as far as just the design I will list all the mods that I'm using and the ones that um, are most impactful in this video. So definitely feel free to go check them out. I mean, you can see it's cluttered to the max and it looks like a lived-in home. It looks pretty fucking good. So let's go ahead. Let's actually get building. And we got a uh, beautiful Kate over here. Had to change her because she was just, you know, ugly as dog shit. And uh, gave her some mods too, like the Slooty Vault suit. But for the building, let's get right into it. And it's super easy. It maybe takes five minutes but it will add such value to your settlement because it just looks really good now first of all go into your structure find the warehouse section go all the way to miscellaneous and find these posts there are there is a section with a certain mod that i'm using but if you're just using the vanilla one the vanilla version of this game without any mod you can still do everything i'm doing here as well because you have the scaffolding and the warehouse which come with um, contraptions which enables you to do this but first of all place your post Place one of the two by one floor sections from the barn or the warehouse on top of it just like that. And then place one of the one by one wood pieces. Now, the reason we're doing this is because we're going to want to connect one of the two by two uh, scaffolding floor pieces. I don't know if the scaffolding floor pieces attach to the barn. I've just found that they attach to the one by one floor uh, wood pieces much, much better. So I've just used that. You know, if they work for the other one, go ahead and use it. But what we're going to use that for. It's just so we can have the scaffolding underneath for some support so we don't use the warehouse post all the way around because I like to change it up. I like to have a little variety. Now, I also go ahead and just take away the scaffolding floor because, again, I want a little bit of variety. I love the way the concrete one looks when placed on the actual scaffolding because it goes through the post. It looks really good. And we'll just go ahead and finish this up here so that we have um, a full-on you know, office section here. Yeah, there you go. Now that's the base of our actual build. Super easy, right? Exactly. Go out, do it, and of course, you can make variations. I just did a very simple one for mine, but then I added, of course, the porch, the shack bridges with um, different levels, and what I wanted to do was I wanted to make this kind of as small as possible and still be able to be lived in. So, of course, for the door, you actually have to use one of the full pieces. Up to you which one you want to use, but it has to be if you want it you know to look i think good it has to be either one of the warehouse or the barn pieces you can do it with the wood ones but the wood ones they don't 
you don't get the um, like the corner pieces for the roof, so they don't look as good. Now the next part here, for every other actual wall piece besides the entrance, besides the door, you want to have it as the half wall. And the reason is this is because you can still walk around as long as you put a roof up above it. And I put these glass ones here so you could actually see out, you know, watch the movie if you wanted. The glass ones in the actual foreman's office, they're for function because you can see ammunition. You can see um, the one section of Eden Meadows here that is not protected by, say, turrets and everything, so you have a good view. Essentially, it's up to you, though. But now next up here, you're going to need one of the corner pieces. Just one of them for just that part there, the part that does not have the full wall piece with it. For the full wall piece, you're just going to need one of the slanted roofs, not one of the ones with the bars in it, because if you put the one in the bars, you're not actually going to be able to walk in there. Just one of the slanted ones, and then go into your wall section and find these uh, triangle pieces, or whatever you want to call them. The, uh, yeah, they need to label shit better, like, actually specific, because it's just called warehouse wall where everything else is called warehouse wall. And it will snap into there, and that's, that's pretty much it. That is the basis of the office build. You can even turn this into a player home if you want. Now, place your last support on the other side, just so that it actually looks like it could be, you know, realistic. Last but not least, you just need to make your uh, your balcony, your porch, whatever you want. I, for the other one, basically made two two by two sections so that I had like a big area to work with. And you all saw that it looked like a bunch of cryo tubes and shit. I just wanted it to look really cool like that. Completely up to you how you want to do it. Put some stairs up there. If you just want it to be like a small, very easy, just a little porch to walk up to, and that's it, you can do that too. But there you go. How easy was that? And this is so good, especially for something like survival mode, which I've been doing recently. I, I didn't do um, Far Harbor survival. And I've been building these types of um, little player home elevated things all over the place. And because I've modded my game so much that I basically turned it into a zombie shooter, it's actually really nice to have these elevated because uh, like the, the ghouls will actually walk underneath it as opposed to coming right up to it and it just it's a little better. But with this, it's very easy to put, say, a couple turrets on top. There's even a mod that gives you turret stands, so you can have turrets like off the side. You don't have to have them on top or on the ground or on, on like a floor. You can have them off the side. It's so cool. But let me know what you guys think. I know this wasn't really like extremely heavily modded intensity whatever I'm trying to say, y'all know what I mean, build, but the next one will be because we're going to be doing a log cabin at Longfellows. Yeah, and then after that, going to be doing an institute player home, so I'm super excited about that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you liked it, hit that like button. Please make sure to subscribe. It will help me out so much. And if y'all have any ideas for, like, uh, building with mods, please let me know down in the comments. I would love to do something like that, too. So thanks for watching, y'all. Enjoy, and happy building.